Right, we are still trying to solve um, the linear programming problem, the diet problem we've been working with. So let's complete it uh, at this time. So let me take my pen. So this is constraint C1. So you actually set up a graph for all the constraints. So this is actually C1, it's not C7. So let me just uh, take out this 7 here. Okay, so it's going to be C1 not c7 so c1 so this would be c2 so you, you create a graph to represent uh, all the constraints so so that is the graphing method so so we are trying to find the intercepts for the equations on both axes so for c1 we have 0.4a plus 1.2b right good so this is where we are considering, in this place we are considering C1, so in the previous uh, tutorial we made a mistake. So let me take out all of this. So take out everything. So let's write the equation for the, uh, representing the constraint for C1. So it says um, 0.4a plus 1.2b is less than or equal to 70. So I have 0.4a plus 1.2b is less than or equal to what? Equal to 70. We are trying to find the intercept of b, uh, intercept on the b axis and intercept on the a axis. So to find the intercept on the b axis, you say b to be uh, you set a to be 0 and then you find the value of b, right? So more like you set this to 0 and a goes out from here. So you have 1.2b a is greater than or equal to 70. So you will now have b is greater than or equal to 70 over 1.2. I'm sure we are getting it. So when I did this, I have a value of what? Of uh, 58.3 on the b axis. I see here. 58.3 on the B axis. Yeah, that's fine. So let's say here 58.3. Right, so if we now say uh, uh, B to be 0, so to get on the A axis, you have 70 over 0 0.4, and that is going to give us uh, a value of 175. So the same thing goes for the second constraint, which is this one. So in this one, we have 6a plus 10b is less than or equal to what? Equal to 50. So if you say uh, a to be 0, then you have 10b is equal to 50. And that gives us b is equal to, remember I'm saying less than or equal to, I'm using at the same time because I'm trying to find intercepts. After we are going to differentiate it. And meanwhile, let's just come connect this line. We know that for it to be greater than or equal to 70, we are considering above the line. So in this case, we have, if we say, a to be 0, so we have 10 B is greater than or equal to 50. So what, what we have for B will be uh, 50 over 10, so we have 5, right? Yeah, I hope it's clay, so we have 5. So this, in the next one, we say um, B to be 0, right? And then we say 50 over 6, and we are going to have 8.3. Now we're going to have 8.3, so going to have 8.3, and then we connect the two. I don't know why I can't draw straight. So I'm going to erase this and draw a second, a better one. Take back my pain. So let's see. So just draw straight. Okay, I think it's better. So since we are saying it's greater than or equal to, so we are considering above this line. So this is the region we are considering. So for C3, the constraint says 0.4a, right, plus 0.6b 
is greater than or equal to what? 12. So if we set a to 0, we have b is equal to 12 over 0 0.6, and that will give us a b value of 20. Now we have to a b value of 20. So in the next one, we set b to be 0 and uh, take 12 over 0 0.4, and that will give us a value of what? To give us uh, 30, right? Yeah, do the maths and you see it gives us a value of 30. So the next thing you do is just to join the two points. Hope I'll draw it straight this time. So since it's greater than or equal to, uh, then we are going to consider both. Good, so permit me to scroll down a little. No, I don't want to go to another slide. All right, so the next thing we are going to do is to kind of superimpose all these four slides, all these four um, constraints, and then find out where all the condition holds. So um, how do we do this to superimpose all the four constraints? Okay, I'm, I'm going to do it in a bigger, in, a, in another slide, and that I'm going to do in the next presentation. So I hope this is clear to you, how to create all these regions. You set one variable to zero and divide uh, the, the right-hand side by the coefficient of the variable uh, left. Then you get the intercept on that axis, and so on and so forth. So if you are at this point, uh, you are doing well. So the next thing is to uh, join up all this together, and then we will be almost uh, close to the solution we are looking for. I'd like to thank you for viewing, and we continue in tutorial 5.